Wow. Okay, we're not smart enough to have this conversation on the floor of the Senate. When I just listen to what I just listened to, no, sir, it is not just the pattern of history going back and forth and back and forth. Client, climate scientists universally across the entire globe have told us that we are in a moment of epic crisis for the planet. So we can pretend we would know what to do if we took another 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years to discuss things on this floor, but we don't have enough time to go to school to learn all the things they already know. So with all due respect, this is the worst drivel I've ever heard on this floor. As we are in a crisis, you can bury your, your heads in the sand. You can say, I don't know if I like the bill. I don't want to give away our power to scientists or bureaucrats. I need somebody to come up with the answers before you all die and your children die and your grandchildren die. So no, I don't care. We have to act now. This bill isn't saying exactly what we're going to do between now and 2050. This bill is saying we better damn well start doing something fast, something serious fast. Your island will be underwater is one of the first things that happened. So yes, you can talk about the history of the world and cities went underwater, but how well do you swim? Because it's going to happen in your lifetime. All right? And we can say, but what will happen for people if their coal plants get closed? We better figure out what to do. I agree we might not have figured it out, but you know what? A green economy might be the best promise for upstate New York because clearly listening to you all year after year after year, what we've been doing has clearly not been working for upstate New York and we are putting our entire planet at risk if we fail to address what we need to address. And the argument that we need to be accountable to the people who put us here, well, when the planet dies, who's going to be accountable to the children and the grandchildren who won't make it? Because we were supposed to be accountable to saying we don't want to make you have to change anything or do something harder. I don't know if this bill is the perfect answer. I'm sure it's not. But you know what this bill does? It allows us to get a jump start finally on doing what we need to do. It says, let's have targets. Let's use responsible people to coordinate and work together. There are plans to address issues for the agricultural sector, for the energy sector, for every sector, because that's what we have to do. It's all hands on deck. We need to change what we've been doing. And yes, this bill includes large segments of information about the commitments to making sure there are alternative jobs and that there are investments in the communities who have faced the most harm and who will face hard times ahead. But you know what? We have to pull together and come up with the answers so that maybe we have some hard times, but at least we have times and at least we have a future. Because if we don't, there doesn't matter anything else we're doing in this house tonight, anything we've done all year, anything we do next year. Because if we haven't saved our planet, the rest is moot, Mr. President. I say it is time for us to get out of the way and get the people who know what they're doing in charge to make sure what needs to happen happens. I vote yes, Mr. President.